Physical assessment slash examination head to toe. Physical assessment is a systematic data collection method that uses the senses of sight, hearing, smell and touch to detect health problems. There are four techniques used in physical assessment and these are colon inspection, palpation, percussion and auscultation. Usually history taking is completed before physical examination. Inspection It's the use of vision to distinguish the normal from the abnormal findings. Body parts are inspected to identify color, shape, symmetry, movement, pulsation and texture. Principles of inspection Availability of adequate light Position and expose body part to view all surfaces Inspect each area for size, shape, color, symmetry, position and abnormalities If possible compare each area inspected with the same area on the opposite side Use additional light to inspect body cavities Palpation it involves use of hands to touch body parts for data collection. The nurse uses fingertips and palms to determine the size, shape, and configuration of underlying body structure and pulsation of blood vessels. It helps to detect the outline of organs such as thyroid, spleen or liver and mobility of masses. It detects body temperature, moisture, turga, texture, tenderness thickness, and distension. Principles of palpation Help client to relax and be comfortable because muscle tension impairs effective assessment. Advise client to take slow deep breaths during palpation. Palpate tender areas last and note non signs of discomfort. Rub hands to warm them, have short fingernails and use gentle touch. Percussion it is the technique in which one or both hands are used to strike the body surface to produce a sound called percussion note that travels through body tissue. The character of the sound determines the location, size and density of underlying structure to verify abnormalities. An abnormal sound suggests a mass or substance like air, fluid in an organ or cavity. Auscultation it involves listening to sounds and a stethoscope is mostly used. Various body systems like cardiovascular, respiratory and gastrointestinal have characterized sounds. Bowel, breath, heart and blood movement sounds are heard using the stethoscope. It is important to know the normal sound to distinguish from abnormal. Preparation for physical exam. Infection prevention. Follow IP precaution throughout procedure. Environment. PA requires privacy and away from other destructors throughout. Equipment. Get all the necessary equipment, other equipment needs to be warmed before being placed on the body for example rubbing diaphragm of the stethoscope briskly between hands. Patient preparation. Prepare the patient physically and make the patient comfortable throughout the physical assessment for successful exam. Explain to the patient everything to be done. Head to toe assessment. General survey. The assessment of the patient, client begins on the first contact. It includes apparent state of health, level of consciousness, and signs of distress. The general height, weight and build can be noted including skin color, dressing, grooming, personal hygiene, facial expression, gait, odor, posture and motor activity. Note, if there is a sign of acute distress comprehensive health assessment is deferred until when patient is stable. Vital signs Assessment of vital signs is the first in physical assessment because positioning and moving the client during examination interferes with obtaining accurate results. Specific vital signs can be also obtained during assessment of individual body system. Skin, hair, scalp and nails. Inspect all skin surfaces first or gradually while assessing the systems. Use the skills of inspection, palpation, 
and olfactory to assess the function. Skin Inspect skin for color, edema, lesions, scars and vascularity. Palpate to notice moisture, temperature, and skin turgor. Hair and scalp Assess and note type of hair that is long, coarse, thick, brittle. Note the color, distribution, quantity, thickness, texture and lubrication. On inspection separate the hair to determine the scalp. Wear clean gloves if lesions and lice are probable, probable, nails. The condition of the nails reflects the general health, state of nutrition, occupation, and level of self-care. Nail biting can reveal the person's psychological state. Inspect for nail bed for color, cleanliness, length, texture, angle between nail and nail bed and folds around the nail. Palpate the nail for inflammation. Head and neck. The assessment of the head includes colon eyes, ears, nose, mouth and pharynx. The assessment of the neck includes colon lymph nodes, carotid artery, thyroid gland and trachea. Eyes. Assess visual acuity, position and alignment of the eyes, eyebrows and eyelids. Note any abnormal discharges and color of conjunctiva and sclera. Ears. It determines the integrity of the ear structures and hearing acuity. Inspect for sore and discharges. Nose and sinuses. Assess the integrity of the nose and sinuses by using inspection and palpation. Nose. Observe for shape, size, skin color and presence of deformity or inflammation. Sinuses. The exam involves palpation. In case of allergy or infection the inside is inflamed and swollen so palpate for tenderness. Mouth and pharynx. Assess mouth and pharynx to determine overall health and hygiene. Use pen light and tongue depressor to assess oral cavity. Lips. Inspect lips for color, texture, hydration, contour, sores and lesions. Buckle mucosa, gums, and teeth. Ask client to clench teeth and smile to observe to observe teeth occlusion, symmetry. A symmetrical smile shows normal nerve function. Inspect teeth for hygiene, position, and alignment. Let client open with lips relaxed. Use tongue depressor to inspect the mucosa for color, moisture and sores. Inspect gums for color, edema, retraction, bleeding and lesions. Tongue and floor of mouth. Carefully inspect tongue on all sides as well as floor of mouth for color, size, position, texture, moisture sores and lesions. Palate. Have client extend the head backwards. Holding the mouth open, inspect the hard and soft palate for color, shape, texture and extra bony prominences or defects. Pharynx. Let the client tip the head back slightly, open mouth wide and say ah, with pen light inspect the uvula and soft palate, they should rise centrally as the client say ah to determine the function of cranial vagus, nerve function. Check the uvula and tonsils for redness and inflammation. Neck. Palpate the muscles, lymph nodes, carotid artery jugular veins for tenderness and distension. Thyroid gland. Ask client to hyperextend the neck and view the thyroid and palpate for masses. Normally thyroid gland is not visible. Chest. Inspect the skin for scars, sores color, lesions, chest, movement and respiratory rate. Palpate to notice any masses, and tenderness in axillary and breast. Lungs. Auscultate to assess respiratory and sounds from the lungs and chest cavity. Percussion is done to detect accumulation of fluid or air in the chest cavity. Heart. Auscultate to hear the heart sound. Learn to know the normal heart sound to be able to detect the abnormal. Breast. Inspect the breast for skin color, 
scars and lesions. Palpate to notice any presence of masses. Extremities. Upper and lower extremities. Inspect hand and legs for symmetry, alignment, skin color, temperature, sores, scars, lesions, inflammation and varicosity. Palpate for tenderness, edema and pulsation of arteries. Use the brachial, radial, ulna, femoral, popliteal, posterior tibia and dorsalis pedis pulses. Check capillary refill on nails, club toes slash fingers and joint mobility. Deep tendon reflexes. Normally done on high risk patients and needs specialized practice and special hammer to assess the reflexes. Areas that are assessed are on biceps, triceps, patella, and Achilles. Abdomen. Inspect the skin for color, sores, lesions, scars, position of umbilicus, distension and contours. Palpate for tenderness, masses and enlargement of other organs like liver, spleen and kidney. Ask for bowel and bladder elimination. Percussion is used to detect the location of organs that are normally palpable for example liver, spleen and intestines. Always auscultate before palpation or percussion because touching can alter mobility of bowel and increase sound. Genitalia. Start assessment of genitalia with asking questions and do inspection to confirm a positive answer. Female. Ask about presence of abnormal discharge, sores, warts and itching. Male. Ask any presence of sores, itching warts and abnormal discharge rectum and anus inspect for the skin color sores hemorrhoids and lesions do digital palpation to examine the anal canal for masses and sphincters function only when important important